Okay. So this video is going to explain a couple of exercises. This will be a circuit exercise that we'll go through in five parts. So the first part will be your legs. We want to target the legs a lot. <clears throat> so the first thing we'll do is pick up. Probably don't want to pick up like I just did. You probably want to pick up. Make sure you like. Bend down. You know? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is lunges. This is what a lunge looks like. Either side, so you can see it from the front. Okay, then the next exercise we're going to do are curls. Everybody knows how to do these. Something to know about curls, though, is that when you're doing curls, you don't want to do this. If you have to do that, the weight is too much. So when you can get that nice smooth motion, big cha, that's, that's correct. Okay, next thing is core. These are called side bends. You don't want to go too far down, you don't want to go like way down here. You just want to go down, you'll be able to feel it. When you're holding heavier weight, I'm using kind of small dumbbells here, but when you're holding heavier weight, like you'll really be able to feel this along here and maybe along here also. So when you come back up, you'll pull with the opposite side for the most part. You'll be able to feel it in both sides to a certain extent. Okay. Next thing is legs. Again, um, targeting the legs is really important. A lot of people kind of ignore it, but it's pretty important. So the next thing we're going to do is squats. You're just going to hold your dumbbells on either side. And you want to stand just like normal. So normal meaning, unless you're like bow-legged or something, the normal like that. Uh, normal like with your feet about shoulder width apart. I personally like to stand with my feet a little sh closer in together. Um, it's not a big deal, so you don't have to have them like a very specific space. And then you're just going to go down. And you don't have to touch the dumbbells to the ground. And back up. A couple things to note about this. One, keep your back straight when you go down. So when you're going down, it's like you're sitting, sitting, and then keep going, sitting, 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 all the way down in this low squat. And then all the way back up. If you can't get full range of motion, pop the dumbbells on the floor. Do it. <clears throat> because the range of motion is at least as important as any other part of this exercise. You do not want to get to the point where you're doing squats like this, because that's not full ROMs. Like, it's more important to be able to do a little less weight and do full ROM than it is to be able to do a bunch of weight and only go down to like right here. You don't want to get stuck there. Um, that'll give you serious flexibility issues. Okay, so the other thing to think about when you're doing squats is to keep your weight on your heels, not on your toes. So one thing that you're going to want to do when you come down is to start coming forward onto the balls of your feet. You don't want to do that. Stay back here. Keep your back straight and your head up. Weight on those heels. So weight on the heels. Down, up, down, up. Okay. And the last thing we're gonna do for this circuit is push-ups. So once you're done with that other step, you're just gonna go down, keep the dumbbells in your hand, put them on the floor, parallel, go up, push. You know how to do a push-up, but whatever, keep your back straight. Um, there are two ways to do a push-up. Either one, you can do them like this, where your arms go out to the sides. Or you can do them more like this, where your arms go straight back. This is specifically targeting your triceps. This is a standard push-up. It gets your triceps 
and your chest. You're probably going to want to stick with this. Okay, that's the first circuit. We'll go ahead and do the second circuit also. So here we have, we're going to start off with calf raises. Calf raises are probably going to be pretty easy. So the general idea of a circuit is that you're doing it in an amount of time. I recommend starting off with 30 seconds a piece for an exercise. You'll probably get between 8 and 12 or 13 in 30 seconds. You're using a good weight. Um, if you can get more than that, great. You might be stronger in that particular spot. Cater to your weakness, not your strength. If you cater to your weakness, you'll build weakness into strength. If you cater to your strength, you'll just hurt yourself. So, cater to your weakness. Anyway, uh, okay, so the first exercise is calf raises. You stand and just do this. And if you want to get like a, like a small thing to stand on, like that's why I have this amp here, is because I actually stand on the amp and do calf raises, which gives you better range of motion so that you can go down further and it really targets your calves a lot better than just being on the floor. But if you don't have anything, um, I bet the art will probably have steps and stuff, but um, any gym would have like a step. But yeah, you just stand and raise with the calves, and that's pretty much it. If you want to give like a little hold in there, you can really feel it, boom, right up in your calves. Okay, the next thing is going to be the overhead tricep press. So this is where we're really going to rock like, um, really rock your triceps. So you're going to go all the way up, and then you're going to go back until your elbows are parallel with the ground. Then you're going to go back up and stop right there and repeat that motion right there. You may have to look in a mirror for this. I'm going to go ahead and turn this way also so you can see it. A couple things to think about when you're doing these are, one, you want to make sure that you're going to this point, not to this point, and not to this point. This will kind of help you. This will hurt you. This is where you want to be. So all of your strength comes from right there, boom, like that. And you'll feel it right in here. And then, let's see, the other thing you want to think about, oh, is to not flare your elbows. So when you're doing them, try not to do this. You want to try to keep them towards your head and like this. Again, cater to your weakness. I have particularly weak triceps in comparison to some of my other muscles, which means that I actually use a lower weight so that my tricep workout portion um, can remain fluent instead of using a heavier weight um, and finding myself weak in that area. So the next one is going to be shoulder press. Uh, we're going to switch that. Next one is going to be deadlifts. It will do. Um, shoulder press. Ooh, I'm not going to start off with the triceps. Okay, I'm going to change the order around a little bit. But you'll know. This is so you have that exercise. Um, shoulder presses are like this. This is the reason we're going to change the orders because you don't want to do two arm exercises right in a row. You'll just get really tired. You're going to go out like this. Keep your elbows as if they were resting on a board. And then straight up and down to that board space, so it looks like you're making a big T. Go up, down, from the front, straight across, up, back down, straight across, up, like that. If the, like if the weights clock together, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, there's really nothing to be worried about on that one. The only thing I've ever seen someone do is like, when they're doing this, either they'll go all the way down here, you don't want to do that because that loses focus in your shoulders and also it puts a lot of unnecessary strain on what's going on. So they're doing this and you're getting a lot of your uh, momentum from your lats actually instead of just your shoulders. So you want to pretty much stay up here. And the other thing is I've seen people go forward or backward and you don't want to be doing this. You want to keep that straight up here. Then the next one is deadlift. So the way to do dumbbell deadlifts 
It's just like you would do with a barbell deadlift. <coughs> Hold them right in front of your hands, or in front of your legs here. Then bend straight down and come right back up. Specific things about this are keep your back as straight as possible, which means bending your legs sometimes. I have some flexibility issues, a lot of people do. Um, so it's, if you can't, like, I can bend to here and stay straight, so I need to bend my knees to keep my back straight so that I can go all the way down and up. All the way down and up. Keep that back straight. So from the front, it looks like you're just bending over to set the dumbbells down. And that's it. This should work your uh, hamstrings back here. It'll get your quads a little bit, but specifically it'll get your lower back. That's where you really want this to hit. Um, anything that hits your lower back will also work your core. So, and part of the reason we're doing circuit training is that the entire thing works your core and your like your forearms really naturally. The last one is bent over a row. This one's a little complicated, um, just in the positioning it can be a little strange. So you're going to step out just a smidge and bend over, kind of like you were doing uh, the deadlift. So you're down here, but instead of coming up, you're going to just do this row, like so. A couple of keys about this. I'll do it from the front real quick. Make sure your back stays straight. Make sure your back stays straight. Next thing is, where are you pulling the dumbbells up to? You're not pulling them up to here. You're not pulling them up to your waist. You're pulling them up to your chest. You want it to hit in your chest to your sternum, right in this space. So when you're bent over, you're pulling up to here. So this hits me right in the sternum and chest right there. You don't want it up here, because then you're in shoulders and torquing range. You don't want it down here, because then you're again torquing to your shoulders and also you're messing with your triceps. It's weird. You want to keep yourself right in here, boom, like that. Um, that's pretty much it. So that's both your circuits. When your circuit is done, you're going to want to toss the dumbbells down, take a rest. Um, I generally take between a minute or two. It depends on how many, how long each set is. I recommend starting out with 30 seconds a set. So you're going to be one, two, three, four, five exercises in each one. It's going to be two and a half minute circuits. I also recommend to start out with um, two circuits of one and two circuits of the other. Each of these does basically a full body workout, but they both target different areas of your body. If you're only going to be working out three times a week, you can do the whole thing. Uh, don't use a weight that's too heavy. <laughs> All right, thanks.